Good evening, everyone. It's the 24th. I'm doing this for Friday morning of the 25th. I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving day today. Well, have you ever run into someone, including yourself maybe at times, that was just incompetent in an area and didn't know what you were doing or they were doing? I recently had a kind of, uh, experience like that with the customer service person. I'm sure she tried to do the best she could, but she could tell she did not know what she was doing. There's been times when I've tried to do something that, frankly, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and it made it very, very stressful. Why am I bringing this up? Well, there's a big contrast to created beings and the creator. The Creator has never been incompetent. The Creator has always accomplished everything He set out to do. He's never been a failure. He succeeded at everything that He's ever done. And He will succeed at everything in the future that He's ever decreed. His decrees are certain. I'm glad to know that we're serving a God who never fails. That He is perfect, He's absolute, He's certain, He's, He's immutable. We find people all around us who are failures, who falter and fail in many, many things. Look how many things different governments have set out to do and they failed. Look at how many companies have gone belly up and went bankrupt. Look how many technology companies have faltered and failed and haven't kept their promises. Look at how many medical Doctors have failed in surgeries, promising certain things to their patients and not being able to deliver. We can find failures and unsuccessful attempts all across the world. In every country, every company, every medical facility, doesn't matter what area you're looking at, whether it's musicians that fail <laughs> or teachers that fail or doctors that fail, scientists that fail, uh, but again, I know one that never fails. He can't fail. For he's omnipotent, he's omniscient, he's omnipresent. He is all-knowing. He is perfection. When he died on the cruel and rugged cross of Calvary, he said, it is finished. And he didn't mean that it was partly finished. He meant it was totally finished, completed. The work of salvation was done for his people. So the next time you run into someone who's incompetent, or the next time you stumble and falter and fail at something, just remind yourself that you know someone who never fails or falters at anything. And as the most competent person that has ever existed, since the eons of time, and that's Jesus Christ. May the good Lord be with you today in a special way, and look to the competent, unfailing Christ. God bless.